Hi viewers and welcome to Can TV. My name is Ava and I'm your host this afternoon and I'm here for Greater West Town. And with me today I have our guest speaker. This is AJ. He's one of the instructors. Welcome AJ. How are you? Thank you. I'm good. How are you? Great. So let's just get right into it. Can you tell the viewers a little bit about Greater West Town and what they do there? Yeah, uh, Greater West Town is a nonprofit organization that offers vocational training. Um, we also offer adult placement, um, so anyone that's looking for a job, looking for uh, to train in a skill that will help them uh, advance in a career or start a new career within the uh, both um, shipping and receiving logistics industry and woodworking industry. Uh, that's that's what we end up doing. Okay, so for the viewers out there, explain to them if they were interested in going through the program, mm -hmm. how would they get started? Um, the first thing is to call uh, Greater West Town and set yourself up with uh, an orientation date. We hold orientations every Wednesday at 8.45 in the morning. Um, that starts the process. Um, you'll be asked to come in to fill out a, a small application. And then uh, we'll, we'll, we'll give you a tour of the facility and, and let you know what, what the program entails as a whole. It's, it's hard to explain even in this um, 30 minute slot that we have here because it has all, we, we, offered, we do offer a lot of, uh, a lot of um, pro programs, a lot of classes and courses okay. within the program. So can you take us through a little bit of the processing uh, for the orientation? Like what's the minimum age requirement? Okay, uh, must be over 18, um, uh, be a, a, well, have a legal status to work in the United States, um, and then uh, I guess the, the requirement is to, to come in and, and let us know everything you have uh, when it comes to paperwork and documentation. That's the thing, you, we, there are some things that we ask um, that is, is, a, is needed, and those items are, are discussed at the orientation, which happens Wednesdays at 8.45 in the morning. Okay, so even though they may want to bring the documentation with them, if they don't, is not a big issue because they, they all of the, it's like a question and answer period when they're there at the orientation. Yes, that's correct. Okay. Uh, the orientation, um, it, it is, it is very much a question and answer. Thank you for saying that. Um, well, if you don't have any documentation, you you will learn what the documentation is needed. Um, I apologize for the documentation like four times in the past minute, but uh, it is important that um, you know you come in first and, and learn what the program can offer, um, and and see if it's a good fit for you, and then uh, and then we'll just move forward from there. Okay, can you tell us a little bit about what Greater West Town is looking for in a candidate when they come through your doors? Um, I would think that the main thing is, you know, being able to either have the employability skills or be able to build upon the skills you do have uh, in order to have a positive outcome and to make sure that uh, we are able to provide, um, you know, the uh, our, our mission, uh, which is to make sure to, to serve the students that come toward the program and uh, to help them uh, uh, gain uh, full-time employment. Um, I think that... Uh, we're looking for someone that's willing to work um, with us so that then we can go ahead and, and, and really succeed in, in, in the placement part of it. Okay, so do they have to have a driver's license and do they have to have a high school diploma? They do, you do not need a driver's license or a high school diploma. Um, we um, will ac accept an individual with um, with those types of limitations or barriers. Maybe they feel that that's what has been stopping them from attaining employment, but we will accept uh, an individual into the program and then and then we'll work with that individual to see if we can uh, figure out a way to overcome uh, those barriers. Okay, what about, you did mention, you touched shortly, and you said computers. Do they have to be computer savvy in order to take the program? Uh, they do not. We do offer a, a basic skills computer literacy program, um, which uh, I also uh, help uh, teach. Um, uh, and we start at the very basics from just turning on a computer up to uh, really getting into the um, Word uh, application um, so that then the individual, or the student can start writing resumes, starting uh, writing cover letters, um, understand how to, to fully use a computer to the best of their abilities to um, uh, attain employment. Okay. 
um, what type of jobs, from my understanding, and correct me if I'm wrong, that manufacturing is on the rise again in the states, uh, also here uh, widely in Illinois, mm -hmm. what type of jobs are out there for candidates to say that complete the program and what, what do you have to offer them exactly, you know, what placements, mm -hmm. where, and what types of jobs? Um, the, the placements that, uh, that we work with primarily for the shipping and receiving logistics program uh, is with, uh, within warehousing, uh, the warehousing industry, the logistics industry. Um, that, that field, that concentration, um, we work with uh, employers that hire material handlers, uh, pickers and packers. Um, we do um, place individuals with uh, companies that require forklift driving because we also do offer um, forklift training. Um, but the uh, the the main thing is is to get a, get a at least from the teach from from my aspect from the teaching aspect is to get the individual really interested in the industry because um, our industry is the the growth in our industry is is massive just because of a lot of online retailing and warehousing and storage needs that companies uh, require now. So um, I actually printed out something because a lot of people may not know that, um, yeah, at the beginning when you start off in the shipping and receiving logistics industry, you may be working at a, in, in a shipping and receiving dock um, and maybe even a, a clerk or a clerical position, but um, when you study more about the industry, you understand that there are other positions, jobs, and I mean, if there's a viewer out there that wants to do any research, it's it's very beneficial to know what the industry holds for you or for us um, as uh, shipping and receiving specialists. Uh, real quick, just real quick. So we have um, uh, uh, jobs that are considered uh, logistician specialists. Um, you have freight forwarding, uh, customs brokers, and then you start moving up into management positions, operations supervisor, logistics coordinator, logistics manager, and even operations manager. Um, yeah, it, it it may seem like a like a like a a big mountain to climb, but you've got to get your foot in the door and start working inside the shipping industry to really um, see all these other positions open up for you with uh, experience and, and, and a little bit of education. So, I mean, but, but that would be with any job that you would apply for that you'd have to climb up the, the corporate ladder. Yes. You know, if that's what you're, so what you're telling our viewers is that, is that there is a career in shipping and yes. receiving if they want it. Yes, there is. So with that being said, what I'm going to do is go to the overhead so that they can obtain the information needed. Okay. And here we go, oops, wrong button. There we are. Uh, as you can see, it's the Greater West Town Training Partnership, and it's the Shipping and Receiving Training Program, and it's 500 North Sacramento Boulevard, Chicago, Illinois, 60612. The phone number to dial is 312-563-9028. There's, there's also three other forms of contact, which would be Facebook, the World Wide Web, and you can also email them. So make sure you copy down this information. It's important. Uh, I understand that there's a class coming up soon, but I'll have AJ answer that just as soon as we get back. So, AJ, can you share the information as to when the next up-and-coming class will start? Yeah, so we have a tentative tentative start date, mm -hmm. uh, July 9th. But like I said, that's tentative. Um, we are in the process of uh, accepting applications um, to join the, the next uh, training cycle. So... Um, if, if you uh, or you know someone that uh, would really um, benefit from this training program, please send them down to Greater West Town. Um, they can, like, like Ms. Ava said, they can um, go online, find us through our website, go through Facebook, uh, find us there, and um, really start the process to come in and make sure you're at an orientation so that we can explain a lot more of the program. Okay, now... Um I wanted to ask the questions, we'll ask the question that they're about cost or expenditure in regards to shipping and training for the viewers. Mm -hmm. So the, uh, the program is at no cost and uh, if you qualify financially. So we would need to speak to each, um, each individual um, when they come in to really assess uh, the, uh, their finances and, and, and go over and make sure that we can uh, then provide the training at no cost. Um, the, the added, obviously the added benefit is with no out-of-pocket expenses. Um, that's one less thing you need to worry about. And, um, and then, and then we go from there. Okay. So 
once they have gone through the processing, um, well, no, I guess my question is, why should a person be think, thinking about training for shipping and receiving uh, at Greater West Town? Why mm -hmm. should they come to what, ship? What makes Greater West Town different? There's other companies out there that, that might possibly train and yeah, I, I think, live, you know. I think the, the main thing that um, would uh, differentiate us or set us apart is that we try to focus on the uh, job placement at the end. Just as, 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 um, as we focus on training on a daily basis, we, we put the same emphasis when it comes to uh, job placement and making sure an individual is in the correct place. Um, to um, start their career or you know grow within the career so we we do have a staff that is very dedicated when it comes to um, consistent work with employers and and communication making sure that that we're talking to the right uh, employers to hire our students so you've also set up uh, what is the word that I'm looking for you're already familiar with these employers who in, that hire your students there's already a relationship built yes. uh, with these employers that the students are sent out to after completion of the program yes so yeah with um, each employer that we have worked with in the past um, it, it it needs to be understood that we've had students from previous classes that have gone in there and actually opened the door for that employer to then hire more people um, from the program because of the good work that is done there. Uh, so that's that's one of those things that we need to understand that when we're, we're training an individual and we're talking to employers that have had our students from previous classes mm -hmm. um, and they the employer then allows us to, you know, give more by by providing uh, students that that are capable to do the the job correctly um, it just it's, it keeps on giving because then you know the next student goes in they do a great job then that opens the door for two more students the next class so on and so forth and, and before you know it you know the the, the good uh, work that's being done from previous classes uh, it, it there you know you you get to see the benefits of that but. okay from my understanding you also brought um, a guest student yes but before that student comes up I'm going to give the viewers the information again so that they can write it down just in case they missed it again oh I understand see we have a caller so so, caller, go ahead. Hi. Hello. Hi there. Hi. I had a question. What type of jobs do you get people that go to your program? What kind of jobs? Okay. More. Uh, thank you for the question, caller. Um, specifically, when it comes to the jobs uh, that we we work with placement on, it will be a um, to to. It will be an, an entry level position, not to say that that's the only um, positions that are available, but again, we work with employers and their needs. So if there is ever a possibility to find a clerk um, or you know a, a shipping or receiving clerk position, something that's more um, com computer based or um, uh, more paperwork based and, and we have the 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 right student at that time we're going to work really hard to try to to make that placement happen um, but we, we do we work with uh, local uh, organizations or local companies that will uh, hire uh, pickers and packers and shipping and receiving um, inventory control specialists um, and and of the 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 type of um, warehouse industry I guess uh, um, uh, descriptions of, of employment. I have another one here. I mean, you know, you can you could be called a, a stock clerk or an order filler. Really means the same thing. You're picking and packing. You're uh, you're out on the floor in a warehouse. And those are the types of jobs that that we we, we usually place at. Caller, did that answer your question? Yeah, I guess I wanted to know more like the companies like Amazon or or you know. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, if you want to get more, yeah, yeah, we can. Uh, so specifically, we don't work directly with Amazon, but we have had, uh, I think in the past year, we have had four individuals that have gone to work for Amazon. And I, although we don't have a professional re relationship with Amazon, um, the more people that do go to work um, because that, um, that organ or that company is, is fairly close to the city, um, the more we get our, our, our students in there, the, the, maybe the, the, the more they'll know who we are 
and then it'll open up a door for us to actually create a, a, a specific relationship with that company. Um, uh, so that yeah, Amazon would be a big one that um, everyone's talking about. We you know we have one um, warehouse distribution center up on the in the northern suburbs and one in the southwestern suburbs. I think. Okay, uh, we have another caller. Go ahead, caller. Yeah, I don't have a GED. Do I need a GED or high school diploma to get into your program? High school diploma or GED? No, no, no high school diploma, no GED. Uh, required to uh, attend the program or apply for the program. Um, w once the, uh, the individual is in, uh, and if if they feel uh, that they would like to uh, um, um, add on to their skill set by attaining that. Although we, we don't have a specific program for that, we do uh, uh, work with other organizations and we do have a, a great um, student services coordinator that um, will be able to help um, an individual with, with, with finding out the proper channels to go to attaining that if that's their, their desire. Um, if, if, it's, if it's not, you know, we, we, do, we, we don't expect anyone to go out and in two weeks try to get their GED. Um, uh, but we uh, we'll, we'll accept any and all, and then we'll we'll go from there. Okay. So with that being said, here we go with the overhead information for you. So make sure you have your pen and paper ready to call us. We have another caller, so we're gonna take this call. Go ahead, caller. Hello. 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 Could you speak up, caller? Yes. I have a question about forklift. Go ahead. Can, can you tell me, like, how you know, uh, what kind of forklift you guys had, and, and 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 how that whole thing works? Can you tell me about forklifting and how it works, and what, how many you have to offer? Yes. So our uh, we 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 do offer forklift training. Um, we do offer certification on uh, forklift. The the possibility of getting certified on forklift is uh, <clears throat> excuse me is 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 there throughout the training program. Um, uh, there is one um, recent certificate that uh, we've been able to offer to our students, which is the National Lift Truck Safety. Um, so that's another thing that once you uh, complete the program and you graduate successfully, um, you'll be able to walk away with that um, National Lift Truck Safety Card, which uh, ensures that you know uh, safety procedures when it comes to lift trucks. Um, more specifically, at our, at our training facility, we do have um, two sit-downs. We have one electric, uh, one propane, or yeah, and then um, we do have a stand-up, um, an order picker or cherry picker, as it's known, and then um, some walkie riders. If uh, if you're not too familiar with the um, the actual names of these lift trucks, uh, it, these four to five trucks kind of um, cover the, all, most of the lift trucks that are in the industry. Okay. Does it answer your question? Okay, we have another caller. Go ahead, caller. Yes, hey, how you all doing? My name is, um, hello, my name is Samantha Wright. Oh, Hi, Samantha. I'm doing good, and you, I was just calling to let you all know that I'm watching your TV show live, and I hear that you all are helping people get jobs. That's true. Yes, in my company, we are now hiring, looking for school bus drivers. Okay. We, we, Great. We, we get a call. We we, we uh if if you yeah we we can channel that um that job openings through our adult placement unit. Um, if we just got some information from you, I think if you would talk to our res um our reception. Our yes, call our call a number and ask to speak to, with the receptionist, and she could help you get connected to the right person. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be able to, to pass along. If you, if you call the number um, that we'll put on the screen a little bit, um, they and then give them the information, we'll be able to put it to the adult placement unit. And then they'll be able to uh, share that information with uh, other uh, individuals that come either through our program or come to our program to find uh, any, any job availabilities. Okay, so let's give them the information and then we'll have our guest speaker. Thank you, by the way. Okay, Greater West Town Training Partnership is the shipping and receiving training program. They have a tentative date in place for the next class starting, which will be July 9th. The location is 500 North Sacramento Boulevard, Chicago, Illinois, 60612. The number to dial is 312-563-9028. There's also three other contacts, which is 
Facebook, the World Wide Web, and email. So, write the information down, give us a call, get registered. The seats are filling fast. So, if you want to be in this shipping and receiving class that's about to start, you better call that number, okay? Thank you. And now I have with me, here's Chris. He's one of the students at Greater West Town. Chris, welcome. Hello, Avery. It's great to be here. Good. What made you fall in through the doors at Greater West Town? What led you there? Well, I had been out of the job market for a couple of years, mm -hmm. and I was at home watching TV, and one of your ads came on Can TV, so I took the number down and I called you guys, and here I am. Okay, great. So, uh, any obstacles since you've been there? Uh, no obstacles. It's a great place to be. Okay. So, if you were to look at the camera and tell the viewers a little bit about Greater West Town, um, what would you say was, let's say, like a bump in the road when you first started? Well, when I first started, because I hadn't been working and had no routine for about two years, mm -hmm. just getting back into the routine of getting up every day at the same time, having to be somewhere at the same time. Um, getting back into having four classes a day, getting back into school mode of actually learning. Mm -hmm. So that's the only obstacle I had, but I fell right in place. Okay, so now that you've gotten that out of the way, what do you think about the program itself? I think it's a wonderful program. I think if you need to start a new career or you need updating in, in uh, education, computer, English, math, because uh, we take math and English and mm -hmm. I hadn't done that since high school, and it's, it's just to be refreshed with it, it was wonderful. So it's an excellent program. And if you need any kind of training, if you have trouble underemployed, you haven't been able to find a job, you want to switch careers, this is where you need to be. This is where you need to be. Okay, viewers, you heard it from one of the students. This is Definitely. the place you need to be. Pick up that phone, give us a call. I've given you the number. So, Chris, uh, even though our time is short, we've you know, had a, an abundance of callers today. Yes. Amy. What would you tell the viewers to do, especially those that are losing their jobs or being uh, mis displaced or dislocated? What would you tell them to do? I would tell them to get all your ducks in order. Make a plan, write down what you want to do, um, and, and make a list and go with that list. So decide what, if you want to go to the program, how much time you need, if you want to quit a job to get here, if you haven't been working, if you, if you need clothes, if you need food or education, um, transportation, everything you need before um, you call. Let's set that up and then call Greater West Town and they'll help you with everything else you need. Oh, thank you, Chris. So I'm going to give them the information one more time, but thank you so much for having you on the great, show. Great to be and here. I know that I'll be inviting you back because we didn't get to really get into a full blown out detail about it, but I come the back short anytime. time that we had is appreciated. I come back anytime. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, viewers, there's the information. Where's your pen and paper? Jot it down. Greater West Town Training Partnership, Shipping and Receiving Training Program. The tentative date for the next class is July 9th. The location is 500 North Sacramento Boulevard, Chicago, Illinois, 60612. The phone number, 312-563-9028. You can also make contact on Facebook, the World Wide Web, or you can email us. There's an orientation being presented tomorrow at 845 for those of you that are interested we will take the walk in so we look forward to meeting and greeting you at the same time and thank you for calling KNTV